uh, I live on a farm and I like to cook. <laughs> Today, I'm trying something totally new. This is a, another crock pot recipe. Uh, sorry if you don't like crock pot recipes because uh, I've made quite a few lately. But I've been a little under the weather. Uh, I have like 99 health issues. I really do. And um, yeah, I just don't have the, the energy to stand and stir stuff on the stove. So crock pot and it is. This is... I saw this recipe floating around on Instagram for like the last two weeks and I kept looking at it and saying, gosh, that looks so good. I'm going to make that. And then of course, when I went to go find the recipe, cause I didn't save it, it was nowhere to be found. So, um, thanks to Pinterest and the interwebs, I found it. Um, I found several versions of it, but basically the recipe calls for frozen cheese tortellini, canned Diced tomatoes, the Italian style, if you have them. Some people add spinach, fresh spinach at the end. Uh, I couldn't find that at Kroger. I guess there's a spinach shortage, so we're using chopped kale, some cream cheese, some broth or bouillon, and uh, whatever seasonings you want to put in there. I don't think I missed anything. Anyway, the original recipe I'll put down below. It also has Italian sausage in it that you brown first and put it in the pot. I don't have any of that. Okay, so some people made it with it. Some people made it without it. We're going without. So it'll be a meatless meal, which is fine. It's fine. Probably serve it with some garlic toast. It's going to be delicious. If you don't want the spinach or the kale or whatever in there, some people use broccoli or mushrooms or bell peppers or onions. Make it your own. Make it how you like it. Make what your family will eat, most importantly. Okay? Let me show you what we're going to do. All right, I hope you all can see this okay. I'm kind of filming at a different angle. The only um, cheese tortellini I could find was this ginormous family size bag at the Walmart, which is, this is 32 ounces. And two cups, maybe. And you know this is going to like bulk up. So, like, less than half the bag. All right. One can of diced tomatoes with their juice, throw her in there. This is 16 ounces of, I use the better than bouillon uh, refrigerated stuff mixed with some hot water. Uh, if you hear lip smacking in the background, that is definitely not me, it's the pig. Since I don't have seasoned tomatoes, I'm putting in some onion powder. You know, the usual suspects, some garlic powder. I mean, I pretty much put this in everything. And some Italian seasoning, because that's basically all that's going to be in your, uh, you know, your seasoned tomatoes. And then it calls for eight ounces of cream cheese. I'm doing, I'm just going to mix this a tiny bit. That's all she wrote. I'm going to put the lid on and this is going to cook four hours. Four hours on low cooked very quickly like in just a couple hours if you were going to make this as the recipe calls for I'm sure it would take the full four hour cooking time but there it is all plated up and purdy I made some garlic bread to go on the side I've already tasted this it is phenomenal I would